centered inhibitor force uh, is able to prevent the sliding motion so if uh, there is 500 newton force so that will prevent a sliding motion downwards the plane so by the application of 500 newton force it is not able to move along the plane so that is given in the problem itself and the coefficient of friction is given as uh, uh, root 3 by 5 you are supposed to calculate uh, the weight of the block so first you draw the free body diagram so the first thing uh, uh, you need to remember while drawing uh, free body diagram is remove all the surface contacts uh, and draw it uh, separately so this is the block so I have removed all the surface contacts so I have drawn it uh, separately the first thing you need to represent is uh, weight so always uh, weight acts vertically downwards whether the block is on horizontal plane or vertical plane or inclined plane so represent weight vertically downwards and there is a given force which is uh, 500 newtons next it is not able to move in downward direction in the opposite direction perpendicular to surface represent the reaction so whenever there is a restriction there will be a reaction in the opposite direction because of the inclined surface it is not able to move in downward direction in the opposite direction perpendicular to surface you need to represent reaction as it is perpendicular normal so I am denoting with the letter N so which is nothing but normal reaction so here by the application of 500 Newton force it prevent it is preventing the sliding motion in downward direction so if there is no 500 Newton force so then definitely it will slide down so the motion direction will be down the downwards the plane so you need to represent a frictional force in the opposite direction so this is the free body diagram so I am considering along the plane it is x axis perpendicular to plane it is y axis so here so these three forces are along the plane and uh, this one is uh, perpendicular to plane but not this one so you need to find the angle with the vertical so here with the horizontal it is given as 30 degrees so I am going to evaluate that angle so this is 30 degrees this is 90 degrees then this is going to be 60 degrees this is 60 degrees when I consider a perpendicular line to this inclined plane so then this is going to be 30 degrees that means this is 30 degrees so here I can resolve W into two components along the plane and perpendicular to plane so perpendicular to plane it is W cos 30 and along the plane it is W sin 30 so now applying uh, two equations sigma fx is equal to 0 sigma fy equal to 0 first I will consider sigma fx fy equal to 0 why because n is along vertical direction along y axis and when I consider sigma fx is equal to 0 there you know the relation f is equal to mu n right so in that I am going to substitute the value of n there for that reason so I am considering sigma fy equal to 0 first So consider sigma Fy is equal to 0. The forces along y axis are and acting vertically upwards. So n minus w cos 30. So n acting along positive y direction, w cos 30 acting negative y direction. No other uh, vertical forces uh, so equal to 0. From that n is equal to w cos 30 so that relation I got when I consider sigma fy equal to 0 now I am considering sigma fx is equal to 0 so when I consider sigma fx is equal to 0 along x direction so along x direction f is equal to mu n so instead of f I can write there a mu n and 500 newton force along positive x direction and uh, W sin 30 along negative x direction minus W sin 30 equal to 0 so mu is given as uh, root 3 by 5 substitute there and n is nothing but W cos 30 minus W sin 30 equal to minus 500 so take uh, W common 
रूट थ्री बाई फाइव इंटू कॉस थर्टी माइनस साइन थर्टी इज इक्वल टू माइनस फाइव हंड्रेड सो वेन यू सिंप्लीफाई दिस वन सो डब्ल्यू इक्वल टू माइनस फाइव हंड्रेड डिवाइड बाई दिस वैल्यू सो इट इज अ नेगेटिव वैल्यू माइनस माइनस यू गेट प्लस यू गेट ट्वेंटी फाइव हंड्रेड न्यूटन्स दैट मीन्स द वेट ऑफ द ब्लॉक इज ट्वेंटी फाइव हंड्रेड न्यूटन्स वॉट आई हैव डन इज I have considered the free body diagram by removing all the surface contacts. Uh, I have drawn it separately. Later, I represented first the weight and a five hundred newton force that is the given force and a normal reaction. As it is not able to move in this direction, in the opposite direction, perpendicular to surface, you can represent normal reaction and a frictional force. So, because of five hundred newton force, it is preventing motion in downward direction. Okay. So when there is no 500 newton force, it is able to slide down the plane. So the other chance is it will slide down the plane. So in the motion, as the motion is in this direction, in the opposite direction, there will be frictional force. So I have considered the two equations: sigma f by equal to zero, sigma f x is equal to zero. When I solve those, I will be able to get the solution.